As expected, the retargeting is going on. Currently, only two engines are now being fired. Now we are approaching the moon surface. जी हाँ, आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम ब्लाइंड मार्टी लैंडर मॉड्यूल पूरी तरह से सेफली और सॉफ्टली चंद्रमा के सतह पे लैंड हो चुका है टुडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग अ स्पेशल माइलस्टोन, इंडिया वेरी फर्स्ट नेशनल स्पेस डे विच इज बीइंग मार्क्ड ऑन ऑगस्ट 23। This date is significant because it's the anniversary of Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander landing on the moon's south pole last year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared this day to honor the hard work of our scientists and engineers who have put India on the global space map. It's also a chance to inspire young minds to explore careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics and to show how space technology benefits society. I'm Vishal Upadhyay and you're watching India TV. On this special day let's take a moment to remember the achievements of India's moon missions. Chandrayaan 1 mission. India's first moon mission Chandrayaan 1 was launched on October 22, 2008 from Sri Harikota. The name Chandrayaan means moon vehicle. This mission was a big success for ISRO. Chandrayaan 1 orbited the moon at a distance of 100 km gathering data about the moon's surface, minerals and more. It had 11 scientific instruments from India and other countries including the USA, the UK, Germany, Sweden and Bulgaria. After achieving its main goals, the spacecraft's orbit was raised to 200 km in May 2009. Chandrayaan 1 completed over 3400 orbits before we lost communication with it on August 29, 2009. Chandrayaan 2 mission. Chandrayaan 2 was our second mission to the moon launched on July 22, 2019 from Satish Dhawan Space Center. This mission aimed to study the moon's surface and look for water. Although the Vikram lander didn't land smoothly on the moon's south pole, the orbiter continued to send back valuable information. This data was crucial for planning Chandrayaan 3's success. Chandrayaan 3 mission. Chandrayaan 3 was our follow-up mission with the goal to land safely and explore the moon's surface. It successfully landed on August 23 at 69 degrees south latitude, making it the farthest south any lunar mission has ever reached. This mission focused on finding water ice in the permanently shadowed regions of the moon's south pole, which could be vital for future lunar bases and deep space travel. So today as we celebrate India's first national space day, we look back with pride at our moon missions and forward with excitement for what's to come. Yes, ISRO is gearing up to launch the next Chandrayaan mission very soon. Stay tuned to India TV for more updates and let us know your thoughts on this historic day in the comments.